it's Steve. I guess everything's set. All right, Steve. The bonds came in on number eight. The stuff's in the post office now. Good. Good? It's perfect. Most everybody in town went to the ball game at Rocky Grove. The place is deserted. Let's go. Six gold fours, 31,000 to 36. Four gold fours, 28,000. What's that? It's bandits. Lock the door, call the marshal's office. They got $30,000 in negotiable bonds. They knocked us both over before we could get a good look at them. Well, we let that stuff lay there. It ain't quite so hot. It was a nice little job I engineered for you men. Thirty grand. Trigger will sure be glad to get his cut when he gets out of the pen next week. Trigger Mallory? What's he got to do with this job? He's still leader of this outfit. He cuts in with the rest of us. Oh, yeah? Well, three years in the stir don't do any man much good. And maybe when Tricker Mallory gets out, he won't be quite so fast with his head or his gun. And furthermore, we'll decide on how to cut up this dough and who leads this outfit after we see Trigger. Well, Magpie? It looks as though we're detailed for that Ransburg bond robbery. Well, that ought to be easy. You'd say the job is probably done by Trigger Mallory's old gang. He gets out of the pen tomorrow. All we got to do is train, pick up the rest of them when he meets them. There you are. <laughs> I'm afraid it's not quite as simple as all that. In the first place, Mallory might not rejoin his old gang. In the second place, we've got to get the bonds as well as the men who stole them. 
Yeah, that's right. Maybe you've got a better ID. Mm, maybe I have. Take a look at that. Say, he's a tough-looking mug. What about it? Ever see anybody look like him? No, I... I don't think I have. His face looks kind of familiar. I wonder... No, it couldn't be him. Well, take another look. Well, I'm a monkey's uncle. Well, I won't argue that point with you. Dern, if you don't look just like him. Let me out of here! Let me out of here! I've served my time! I'm tired of this place! Let me out! You can't keep me in here! Hey, you! Come here! Back down, Mallory. You'll get yourself another three months for misbehavior. Oh, my time's up. You can't keep me in here. You don't get out until noon. And that's a couple of hours. Any more yelling and I'll report you. Uh, this is just a line for the press. Trigger Mallory will be released at noon today. Captain William Carson from the Bureau of Investigation to see you. All right, send him in. Yes, sir. Uh, Trigger Mallory has been an incorrigible and an unruly prisoner. And uh, naturally, he sacrificed his time off for good behavior. You're Captain Carson? Well, yes, Warden. What's the matter? You look as though you've seen a ghost. Well, uh, that'll be all, Smith. Won't you have a chair? Thanks. You'll have to excuse me for staring, Captain. But you're a dead ringer for Trigger Mallory. Yes, I know. That's why I'm here. Meet my partner, Mr. McGillicuddy. Call him Magpie for short. How do you do? How do you do? You know, Warden, I always said the captain looked like a crook. Your actions sort of bear me out. Quiet. Do you think I look enough like Mallory to fool some of his friends? As far as appearances go, you could fool his own mother. But uh, your voice and your gestures... Well, a man's voice might change after a few years in your hotel, Warden. <laughs> I think the other things could be taken care of. Just what is on your mind, Captain? I'm going to leave here instead of Mallory. I'm afraid I don't quite understand. Well, here's the plan I have. Now, when Trigger comes in here to be released... We're meeting Trigger on the railroad track. We want to be mighty careful that he ain't tailed by somebody that's looking for us. Maybe you're figuring on taking over the chief's girl, as well as his job, eh, Slim? Maybe. You aim to interfere? Hello, Jesse. You sure Trigger understands where to meet us? I sent him word in the usual way, but I won't feel easy until I see him. Don't you worry, kid. If anything happens to Trigger, I'll... Nothing's going to happen to him if his friends don't double-cross him. Better be on your way, all of you. You've got a night's ride ahead, and we don't want any slip-ups. All right, kid. I only meant that if Trigger don't feel so good when he comes Forget out. it. Stretching the pin isn't going to hurt Trigger. Just see that you don't let him grab him again. All right, Jess. Come on, men. Better be on our way. Timer, but I've waited for you. Just like I said, Warden. The captain missed his calling when he took the side of the law. That'll be enough out of you. I'll get going. Remember, sit tight until you hear from me. All right, Warden. Suppose we get a look at our friend Trigger. Very well. Hello. Donovan, bring Mallory in here. Yeah. Well, it's about time you let me out of here. Where are we? 
what do you want of me? I've seen enough of this place. Mallory, it's customary in this sovereign state when a prisoner regains his freedom, give him a small amount of money and a few words of advice. Now you can keep your money and I don't want your advice. I served my full time here and you got no further hold on me. You can suit yourself about the money, Mallory. But you're going to listen to the advice whether you want to or not. All right, Sandy Claus, go ahead and spill it. You've been locked up here now for three years. And that's a pretty fair slice out of the life of any man. We hope it'll be a lesson to you. Sure it will be. I'm to be a nice boy and go to Sunday school. Not have anything to do with any tough guys that tote guns, eh? Ah, uh, now you listen to me. For three years, you and your mugs have been telling me what to do. Now I do as I please. Is that clear? Quite clear, Mallory. And if that's the way you feel about it, we can expect you back here almost any time. Hello? Yes. Yes, this warden speaking. Yes, I'll take care of it. When do I get out of this dump? I'm sorry, Mallory, but you're gonna have to stay with us a few more days. The authorities at Lansbury went to hell for investigation. Well, you can't do this to me. My time is up in this hey, place, and you're not gonna hold me. Hey, you can't hold me in this place. Let me out of here. Yeah. I'll get my lawyer. I'll tell this it now. You and your mugs have been telling me what to do for the last three years. Now I do as I please. Is that clear? <laughs> That's fine, Captain. But what about that scar? Mm. Oh, I can fix that up all right. Now, I have the names here of most of Mallory's old gang, including Jesse Treadwell, entertainer at Toby Ryan's Palace Bar, Border Town. A girl, eh? Mm. Well, that must be the one that wrote the note we intercepted, telling him where to meet his friend. Where was that? A mile from Jessup's Crossing on the SP. Fine. Well, here comes your chief, men. How about it? Was I right or not? And that's the man that's gonna lead us on a cattle raid. Give the guy a break, will you? Did you expect to find him dancing a jig? Well, if he does any dancing, I'll call the tune. Hello, boys. Hello, Mallory. Howdy, Trigger. I had a note from Jesse saying you'd meet me here. Hey, we better get going. Somebody might have been trailing you. Well, you don't have to worry about that. My trail's pretty well covered. Yeah. Looking pretty thin, ain't you, Trigger? Guess they didn't feed you very good. Feed you? Nothing but slop. Your voice sounds kind of funny. Yeah, well, you don't get much chance to vocalize where I've been. Come on, where are we heading for? You must be slipping, Trigger. Your orders sent to us through Jesse was to take you to Toby's place at Border Town. Sure, they're my orders. But the place might have been raided since then. Come on, let's get going. me in here. What are you doing holding me in here this way? I want to see the warden. I've served my time. Tell the warden I want to see him. There's a law in this country. You can't do this. <laughs> Look who's appealing to the law. Well, you might as well quit shouting. 
Because they won't let you out of here till they get through investigating. Yeah, and how long will that take? Oh, one year, two, maybe five. Why, you... <laughs> All right, stop then, you mug. Hey, come back here. Bad enough to keep me in here. You know you want to starve me, eh? Trigger Mallory. I'll take you up to your room, Trigger, while the boys look the place over. All right, fellas, spread out. Yes, Trigger. Hmm. Ah, it's great to be home. Yeah, it's just as you left it. Jesse wouldn't let us touch a thing. Ah, it's swell. <sighs> Guess you didn't notice this. Oh, it's Jesse, isn't it? Swell girl, Jesse. Yeah, she had that made special for your homecoming. Well, she hasn't lost any of her good looks. I'll go down after a while and thank her for it, but right now I... Well, I think I'll lie down and rest a while, you know. Kind of get used to the idea of being free. Sure. Suit yourself. See you later. All right, Slim. the big house putting its mark on the boss. What's the matter with him? Everything. First, he's lost his memory. Didn't seem to remember what our names were, nor where this place was. And he's gone soft. <laughs> Said it was good to be home again, and he'd like to take a rest. He'll be all right in a week or two. In a week or two? Say, we've got a job of work ahead of us pushing that Bar D cattle across the border. We held off too long now, waiting for Trigger to lead us. And now... You gotta give a man time to get his bearings. 
time. In four days, the bar deal have their cattle rounded up. We've got to move quick. And he says it's good to be home again. We ought to be laying our plans right now. And he's taking a nap like some old codger of 70. That'll be enough out of you, Slim Marsh. You wouldn't dare say that to his face. Oh, is that so? Well, if you don't believe what I say about him, let me tell you something, kid. When he first saw your photograph, he looked at it like it was something he'd never seen before. And he said, ain't that swell. Then he went to bed. Oh, Jesse. What do you want? If you go up there, step lightly so as not to disturb him. I haven't run in there yet. Trigger! Oh. Jesse, I, I'm sorry. I, You know, I'm still kind of jumpy. I, I'm sorry. What's the matter, Jesse? You, you didn't remember me. I guess Slim was right. Slim? What about Slim? He said you'd been broke by prison. But you couldn't remember your friends' names or faces. Ah, Jesse. <laughs> ah, Lord, I could. Do you think I've forgotten all my friends? Do you? Huh? What do you think? I think Slim is a fool. So do I. And I'm going to prove it before I get through with him. You've got to look out for him, Trigger. He means to take your place as leader. To cut you out of the Barty cattle business. Oh, he does, does he? Well, I'll take care of Mr. Slim before I get through with him. Now, what about this Bardi cattle business? What is it? They have 5,000 head of cattle grazing on rangeland within 15 miles of the border. Hmm. <laughs> well, that's the way it is, fellas. Do we run that cattle with a broken down jailbird to lead us? Or do we make a sure thing out of it by cutting trigger and splitting four ways instead of five? I'm with you, Slim. If you can prove you're a better man than trigger. <laughs> I can do that, too. All right, he's coming now. Remember, back my play. Jesse was just telling me about that Bar D cattle raid you fellas are planning. But it's going to take more than just the five of us. What about Joe Sardi? Joe Sardis was killed in that raid over by the Pecos. You was there at the time, Trigger. Oh, sure, I remember now. Just go to show you. Isn't it funny how a fellow will forget when he's been locked up for a few years? Yeah, that's just what we were talking about. And we've decided that you've forgotten too much to be of any further use to this outfit. And from now on... Just which one of you birds is planning on taking charge? That'll be my job. nominations for the leadership of this outfit? You give the orders, Trigger. We'll follow. Hmm. What about you, Slim? Yeah, I guess I was mistaken. You can count me in. That's fine. Toby, set him up for the bunch. They're on me. Come on, kid, let's celebrate. Now, the first thing I want to know is where you planted those bombs in that post office job. The old hideout in Shepherd's Rocks. You know the place. Sure, I know where it is. So does every other thug and rustler that rides this range. 
Now, we get a hold of that loot in the morning, and I'm going to take charge of it. Any objection, Slim? I guess not. Except we all get what's coming to us. Well, I'll see to that. You round up Megs and Blake and have them at the hideout the first thing in the morning. We're going to need every man we can get for this job. Hey, guard! Guard! Hey, look here. Look. Hey, look on this paper of yours. It says, I was released today. Can you beat that? Stay where you are, Warden. Don't be a fool, Mallory. Drop that gun. You'll never get out of here alive. I'm leaving here, and what's more, I'm taking you with me. Now, you pick up that phone, tell them to get your car ready at the front gate. That you're going for a ride and you're taking Mallory. You're mad. You can't get away with this. Pick up that phone. You'll be careful, Trigger, won't you? Don't worry, they're not going to catch me again. I don't mean the police. I mean Slim. If you give him a half a chance, he'll put a slug in your back. That guy don't worry me none. Now, if Steve's got the other boys at the hideout, we'll pull that job in the morning. So long, kid. So long, Trigger. I'd like to negotiate for a little drink of red eye. Yeah? How? If I can throw seven in three rolls, you buy me a drink. And if you don't, you buy the drinks for all. <laughs> That's a <the> deal. <laughs> seven. <laughs> Name your poison, gents. That goes for you, too, sister. Thanks. I'm not having any. You better be on your way when you've had your drink. We don't care for strangers in these parts. Well, I ain't no stranger. The fellow up the state pen told me that Trigger Mallory used to hang out around here. Is that right? Trigger Mallory? Never heard of him. Nor me. Oh, I guess I got the name wrong. Well, anyhow, I ain't here to mooch drinks. I can be my way. Well, we better take care of that wad before you leave. Would you be interested in a little dice game with the boys? I'd be tickled to death. Boys, take them over in the corner and show them how to roll those bones. That man isn't the fool he's pretending to be. Wait till the boys get through with him. He'll look even sillier than he does now.
I suppose this is another one of your bright ideas, Slim. Keeping it in the government sack so there won't be any doubt about it being stolen, eh? Oh, come on, take a look at the cattle. What do you think of them, Trigger? Not bad. Well, then let's get them started. We don't need these other men. Are you giving orders again, Slim? No, but I... Well, I... keep your trap shut, then. We need all the men we can get to handle this. I'm going to do a little scouting around anyway before we tackle this job. Come on, let's head for the hideout. And you claim you can shoot the spots out of this car to 30 paces, huh? For five bucks a spot, I can. You made yourself a bet, mister. One, two. Well, what goes on here? How you, Trigger? Hello, Trigger. Hello, Chief. I was just fixing to separate Steve from a little money by shooting the spots out of that card. Well, go ahead. Fire away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Twenty-nine, thirty. <laughs> That's pretty good shooting. I guess you win, Megs. Like taking candy from a baby, eh? Even Trigger couldn't do better than that. Well, where I've been, you don't get much chance to practice. But down where I was raised, the kids used to shoot at targets like that. Give me one of those cards. Now, I'd figure a fellow with a pretty good shot that could cut one of those edgeways. Fifty bucks says you can't do it. <laughs> I'll take that.
So, trigger's slipping, eh? I could do better than that with a little practice. Well, that's 50 I owe you, Trigger. Nah, keep it. Split it up among the boys. But I'll tell you what you might do. You might start a fund for Slim's funeral. He's going to make a bad mistake one of these days. I'm going over and look over those cattle. See if there are any riders around. We we'll try and move that stuff across the border at dawn tomorrow. Take care of things, Slim. shooting, eh, Slim? Yeah, too nice. There's something phony about that guy. Phony? What do you mean? I don't know. But he's liable to mess this whole job up with his scouting around. I'm gonna follow that guy. Okay, fella. But don't let him catch at it. That's all I gotta say. to my room and follow me up there as quick as you can. Get on, fellas, get on. Here we go to town on this one. Ha! 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 all trigger. He had your manners and gestures, and when he knocked down Slim, it was just like you'd have done it. I don't know who he is. I know who he is. He's Captain Bill Carson, a federal agent. That's it. That's why he insisted on waiting about the cattle until all the men arrived. He means to get them all in one swoop. He knows their names. Yeah, but he don't know I'm out of jail. And that's my ace in the hole.
You can't blame the boys for being mistaken. The man's a dead ringer for you. Know him? Yeah, he wandered in the saloon a couple of hours ago. I thought he wasn't as stupid as he was making out to be. Ah, he's probably another G-man. I ought to let him have it. Don't trigger. He'll have the whole saloon up here. It's Carson we want. Yeah. All right. We'll lock him up in here. Come on. Hello. Federal Bureau of Investigation? Who is this, Dixon? This is Bill Carson. I've got the Mallory gang in a shack about five miles south of Border Town, just off the San Felice Trail. Good. Listen, Captain. Trigger escaped. He's probably headed for that hideout right now. We have Magpie on his trail. You think he'll need any more help? Oh, I don't think so. I'll try to get him rounded up before he gets there. Captain Carson. Captain Carson. Hello. Hello, Dixon. Are you all right? What was all that shooting? One of the Mallory gang caught up with me. Line of duty, you know. But you better send someone out here to pack him in. Where are you? I'm in a tool shack on the SP line about two miles south of Ward Junction. I'll let you know if I need any help. All right, Dixon. So long. Someone's coming. Who? Lightning Carson, that smart G-man that's imitating me. Well, gee, Trigger, we didn't know that. He, we thought it was you. you Where know. is he? Well, he went out to look at the herd. Slim thought it was funny and followed him. Well, he'll be back. Come on, get inside. Cash those horses and tip us off if you see him coming. What you turned out to be. You thought I was slipping, eh? You thought a stretch in the pen was going to soften me up. And then you poor sap, you let a federal man move in and pass himself off for me. Don't be a fool, Trigger. He fooled me worse than any of them. He, he took me in his arms and... Oh, all right. Forget it. Now, we'll just fix up a surprise for this Mr. Lightning Bill Carson. Coming. Well, you may know what to do. You come with me, Jesse. Hey, 
Trigger, you've been gone quite a while. Yeah, we was worried about you. Slim went out to look for you. Did you see him? Yeah, I saw him. He won't be back. What do you mean he won't be back? You can use that funeral money now. Slim made that bad mistake I spoke about. And you made a bad mistake when you tried to pass yourself off for me, Captain Carson. Hello, Mallory. I heard you got away, but I thought I could get back here before you did. And you brought Jesse with you, too, eh? Great girl, Trigger. He's been a lot of help to me. You're going to need plenty of help from now on, Mr. Carson. You fooled me, but... Cut it, Jesse! Is there any other little message you'd like to leave with us before you get what's coming to you? Only a request that uh, Megs do the shooting. He'll make a good, clean job of it. There won't be any shooting. Spies don't get shot. Just one thing more, Trigger. Don't let Jesse tell you she was fooled. It's just that she prefers an honest man to a cook. He lies, Trigger.
I guess I can stand a stretch in jail if Trigger can. Prison's pretty tough on women. So? So I'm going to turn you loose. You're a bad egg, Jesse, but quite unintentionally, you saved my life. Don't stop till you get over the border. Maybe you were right when you said I'd prefer an honest man to a crook. Thanks. The girl. She was too fast for me. Got away. Made a clean getaway. Last I saw of her, she was heading for the border. Too fast for Lightning Bill Carson. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 